two and one. All right, so in this video, we're gonna take on this particular example of probability of flipping a coin three times and then having at least one tails in those flips. Then taking a die and rolling a two or more. Okay, so what is the probability of that? So what we have is we have some coin. So let's say we have one, okay, two, and all right, so three. So we have three coins, or at least three flips of a coin. Now it says we want to try to get at least one tails in these. Again, so with questions with probability where it says at least one, the easiest thing to do is to calculate the probability, all right, by using complements. So we know that the probability of no tails plus the probability of one tail, so at least one, that is equal to one, right? So because the total probability has to be 100%, so no tails and at least one tail. So what we do is, okay, so if we have to see if we have at least one tail, so we might as well, so we'll rearrange this, okay, so probability of at least one, at least one is equal to one minus the probability of no tails. Now, what is the probability of no tails? Well, that means that on all flips, we got heads, right? So that's what that would mean. So we would get heads here, heads here, and then heads here. So what's the probability of that? Well, the probability on the first toss is one half, because it's either tails or heads. Okay, and then one half again, and then finally one half again. So in total, so you'll notice that the probability of getting heads on all three is basically one over eight. So here, so this is gonna be one minus one over eight. Okay, so this is seven over eight. So our odds are actually pretty good to get at least one tails on a flip if we were gonna be flipping three times. So that's just the first part, the probability of that. All right, so that's this right here. Now, in the question, it also says then taking a die and rolling a two or more. So if we wanna take a die and then roll a two or more, so what that means, so on our, say, die that we have, all right, so let's put this, in here, so it's a six-sided die, so a standard okay, die that maybe we're rolling. Again, if the question said that maybe it was an eight-sided or something else, then you know we would do it a little bit different. I'm gonna assume that this is just a standard die. So we either have, again, we're gonna roll a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six, right? So as we roll this through. Now, in the question, it says, that we roll at least, okay, um, so we're we rolling a two or a more, or more. So two or more, okay, so it's gonna be two, three, four, five, or six. So it's the probability of rolling that. Well, so this is five out of six. That's the chance, because really just one is not going to work for us. So now we take the two probabilities. So the probability of first trying to see, okay, if we're gonna get at least one tail, and then we're gonna be multiplying it by the probability with the die. So we have that, and then this is gonna be 35 all over 48, so seven times five, and then um, eight times six. So we have this, and if you want to convert this back into percent, you can do so. So 35 divided by 48. So that's going to be, so approximately, so give or take, so let's say 73%, unless they ask you to round it to something. So you can then round accordingly, but this is what it is. All right, and that's how you approach this question. Okay, so thank you for watching. See you in a future video. Bye, everybody.